Hey there, it's Wendy from Worldwide Speak, and I'm back again to help you write stronger sentences as you're beginning your learning journey in English. Here is quick tip number four. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so so that you can get our latest videos right when they come out. Okay, let's learn. Quick tip number four. Eliminate these. I feel, I believe, I think. We don't need to write these because your reader knows that you're writing. So it's a bit redundant or it's repetitive and it makes your sentences longer which make them wordier which cause or can cause more confusion. Let's take a look at a very simple sentence uh, so we can understand this concept. So let's say you have to write uh, a paragraph about the best place for a vacation. And you write the sentence, I think London is the best place for a vacation. Well, as your reader, I know that you think this because you're writing it. So all you need to do is write, London is the best place for a vacation. Just take out I think, and then your sentence is stronger, it's less wordy, and it's more clear. And therefore, your writing is going to be more clear and more effective. Let's take a look at yet another sentence that we can change to make stronger. So here we go. I believe that Tower Bridge is one of the most impressive landmarks in the United Kingdom. So you can see we have I believe that. Three words. Makes the sentence longer, wordier, and can cause possibly some confusion for the reader because we already know you're writing the paper. We know that you believe this because you're writing it. So let's just take it out. Let's write Tower Bridge is one of the most impressive landmarks in the United Kingdom. More direct, more clear, stronger. All right, let's take a look at um, another example, the last example, and this one's going to be a little more academic. So let's say you're writing a paper about London's economic recovery or about the economy of London during the pandemic. Um, and here's a sentence that you write, I feel a large threat to London's economic recovery will be the extensive amount of borrowing by public finances to support public services during the pandemic. Well, we again, we know that you're writing this paper and your reader understands that you're writing it. So we don't need to know how you feel because we know how you feel because you're writing the paper. So let's just take it out. Why don't we write a large threat to London's economic recovery will be the extensive amount of borrowing by public finances to support public services during the pandemic. Much more clear, much more direct, and it's stronger. So this is another great way to make your sentences stronger. They're much more direct, they're more clear, they're less wordy, and they're going to be more effective so that ultimately your reader is gonna be able to read what you write with no problems at all and absolutely no confusion. So thank you for watching. Go write some strong sentences and let me know how it goes in the comments below. Bye-bye.